Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we met Creepy Hand Man, and it was very unpleasant because he is my least favorite character in the entire stinking game. But it wasn't all completely worthless or not worth it because it just so happens that his uh, paralogue allowed us to buy Killing Edge, baby! Yeah, we can finally buy these things, so. Basically, Long Ku will never go hungry again because he eats swords. Apparently, I don't know. So swords swallow silver swords more powerful. Yeah, I always like the Killing Edge though. Go ahead and get that for him so he has a backup. Um, he also has a ladle in his inventory. I'm also gonna get one for Seiri because I remember uh, her benefiting from that quite a bit. So I'm gonna get her that. And I will also get one for. Uh, Anna, because I think she could benefit from that. Uh, it didn't even go to their inventories, did it? Oh boy, give me a second. Wow, Erica's blade runs out pretty quickly, only has two more hits left in it. Uh, but yeah, we finally could buy those things, so that's really stinking awesome. You can also buy, uh, Killer Lance, Killer Axe, and Killer Bow here in Chapter 15, so... Basically, if you're a fan of the Killer series, then you have no more worries for the rest of your days from here on out, I guess. So that's really stinking nice. But before we head into the next chapter, we got some support things. So I did a little bit of off-screen training. I was trying to get to Olivia to level 15, but it uh, didn't quite work out. I could have done it, honestly, but uh, I kind of want to see if I could just like push her over the edge in this next chapter. If I could just do it naturally, because I saw we got the, all these communication sessions and I didn't want to like end up piling it up higher and higher than it already was going to be, so uh, for that reason I kind of held off on doing it. But for now we got a B rank with Krom and Lissa. Right. Now the coast is clear. Wait. Lissa? <gasps> but brother, hey there, how are things with the war? Listen. Where are you going? Oh, the weather's just so lovely, yes, so I thought I'd take a little stroll and... Really? It's raining. Huh? Is it? Oh, fiddle dee dee! It was sunny just a moment ago. No. It's been raining for three days. <clears throat> Alright, fess up. Where do you keep running off to lately? <sighs> Me? Run off? Haha, <laughs> you're crazy, Crom. Stop being crazy. Right. Robin has also been asking about you about how you knew so much regarding the enemy's formation in that last battle. Please don't tell me you've been scouting all by yourself, Lissa. So it'd be okay if I didn't tell you? Think again. You fool! What would you have done if they'd caught you? <sighs> I, I didn't. I don't know. I just knew I had to do something to help. It's my duty as princess to fight and... What? And what? To become a high-ranking hostage? To be tormented for information? And gods, are you really still on about all this princess stuff? Hey. You wouldn't understand. You don't know what it's like to be your... You're an Emerine sister. <sighs> Look, if you want a mission so badly, I'll give you one. Go ask everyone in camp how you could be a better princess. Huh? Listen to me. It doesn't have to be today, but do it. And yes, that's an order. For the... Alright, fine. Kind of interested to see how it's gonna finish up. It's kind of a weird direction to go with B rank, but I guess we'll see in due time. Up next is Robin and Seiri. I had them paired up in uh, off-screen training, so I guess they have a little communication session. Seiri can't talk to anyone from what I remember. She could communicate with Robin and one character we haven't met yet. Okay, so uh, not that many options for her, so I guess it's cool that we get to see this one right here. Seiri, hello. Er, I had a question for you. Hmm? I am in a tent, milady. Enter and be welcome. Oh. Finally, it feels like I've been looking for. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I had no idea you were changing. I'll, er, uh, I'll just step outside. Right. <sighs> Hi, Robin. We are both women, yes, and I have no shame in my body. But if it makes you uncomfortable, I shall dress. Give me but a moment. What is it with all the Robin communications and walking around people naked? Sorry to keep you waiting, my lady. Now, you had a question? Yeah. Well, I did, yes, but now I'm actually more interested in your small clothes. At least, uh, is that supposed to say small clothes or like small cloths or... Okay, whatever. At least I assume that's what they were. 
those bolts with a white cloth? Fie. Ah, you have the right of it. My culture has many unique customs. Most like our small cloths differ as well. Wow. But they're just strips of cotton wrapped around your chest and hips. It looks like they could fall off at any moment. <sighs> I'm honored that you are interested in the customs of the culture of Chosin. Mayhap next time we have a moment, I could tell you more. Well... Certainly, thank you. I'm most interested, and it may even prove useful. Who knows to what mysterious lands this campaign will end up taking us. A crash course on different cultures might be excellent preparation. Right. I shall be honored to serve as your guide to Chosin, Robin. I can only imagine how that uh, walk-in moment would have happened if we were male, Robin, but I guess that's just... Uh, for me to wonder about and for you to find out if you play the game for yourself and you choose male Robin. Oh, uh, well, I guess we got him to join us. So we got the generic C rank with Owain and his parents. So let's get this over with. Hey. There's something I need to know, mother. Right. And what's that? The name of your weapon. Huh? My weapon? Why? Oh, yeah, this is healing broke off camera. So I got to go ahead and get that fixed. My sword hand. Is. My manner of sign would, would should I not know to know the name which God's his mother? To teach me so I may whisper it so corrected prayer and keep you ever safe. Huh? Oh, you meant that sort of name. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> the Holy Slayer, saintly dragon blah blah kind of stuff you're always talking about. I was wondering if you really didn't know the word staff. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I should be offended by both those statements. But yes, yeah, that sort of name. What is it? It doesn't have one. What? You've granted a no name? I mean, why bother? Can't control. Mother! A name compares the soul to an inanimate object that grants it power! It transforms a mere tool into a divine instrument possessed of luminous potential. See, there's the blah blah stuff I was talking about. Sigh. I'll give it some thought, alright? But right now I've got to get going. Bye! Uh, uh, Raise mother! I've braced for an insufficiently astonishing name, but this is worse than I'd feared. This may require drastic measures for your own good. Okay, that was kind of funny. I'm actually enjoying the character more now that I'm giving him a stupid voice. Oh my god, and also like... On one hand, it's kind of cool, like, how the future children stuff works, because in some cases, the children are older than the parents, and it's just kind of cool to see that communication happen, how these children are trying to be parents to these uh, kids that they've never met before until now. So it's kind of cool, but in other sense, I could understand being kind of Akko Taco, but whatever. C rank with... Oh, wow, I want to see Frederick being a daddy poo. Let's see what he's going to be like as a daddalicious... A foul scent hangs in the air. My soul and arm throbs dully. Hey, what's this? Blood raging? A different sort of blood rage than usual. Yes. Owain, is everything all right? <laughs> Stay back, father. You mustn't come any closer. What? Did you catch something? Do you think you're contagious? <gasps> the blood of heroes that courses through the my veins hungers for fresh prey. Any draw within striking range in my presence, so I cannot guarantee safety. I beg of you, stay back! Do not force me to tap on my own father! I'm confused. Are you under someone else's control? Did someone curse you? Can't control! I, the curse of my bloodlines are controllable power! It gnaws at my soul! <sighs> Down, down, I command thee! Be calm, sword arm! Stay, ready, blood! All right, son. Just stay where you are. I'll get your mother. Hmm? Wait, mother? Uh, hey, that's not strictly necessary. This pain is nothing to a man like me. Give it a moment, I'm sure it will debate. I've weathered far worse than her father. Ah, oh, did he actually go to get mother? Suddenly, I don't feel so well. I just imagine Alyssa spanking him, <laughs> even though he's older than her. Uh, and that's the last we're ever going to hear of Creepy Hand Man. Hooray. Rank A for Lanku and Pain. This ought to be interesting. Let's see what we got. Hello, Pain. Hmm. 
He looked cheerful. I assume this is to mean that the potion did its deed. This is good. I was unsure it would work on humans. Hmm. Your brew did more than cure me of my nightmares. Since I drank that drought, I've been having the most wonderful dreams. As you wish. The effect will wear off soon. Wait while I brew another mug. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Done. I'll just leave it here and back away. Thanks. Right. Down the hatch. <sighs> the taste does not improve with exposure. But if it means no more nightmares, I'll drink a barrel and ask for more. So? Tell me, Payne. Why do you help me? I know you've little love for humans. Good question. Well, I'd already given you the herbs. I didn't want them to go to waste. Hmm. And why did you collect them in the first place? Were they for you? Are you also haunted by nightmares? Well... I often dream of the night man spawn raised my village and murdered my kin. Just before she died, my mother told me that I mustn't hate all humans. She said there were good men as well as wicked, and I was never to forget it. But why did you make the potion for me? No. I told you I didn't want the herbs to go to waste. You have a good heart. Hmm. You know nothing about me. Rank A. Seems that they really complete each other in a way. They help each other out with a lot of what they're going through, and I really like that with these communication sessions. It kind of makes me wish that I was a lot more adamant about pairing everyone up with somebody, but a lot of these characters I don't really like on their own, but maybe that would have changed if I delved into their stories more so that their introductions weren't always the greatest, so I didn't really care to see how they went forward. And unless you're very adamant about doing level grinding, I could... I feel like this would be incredibly difficult to... Um, have a rotating team. I can't imagine a lot of people successfully do that on their first playthrough, so I definitely encourage it. it it's a, a great game for like replay value, but uh, I just have limited amount of time, so I can't really do that. Not like limited amount of time, but like just I want to get this LP rolling and whatnot, so it's not the easiest thing for me to just uh, have every single character get their time of the sun. I've seen LPs of this game go on for like over 100 episodes and honestly, if I wanted 100% it, it might very well be that long but I'd like to just kind of get on with the show. So for now, we'll just continue on with the story in chapter 16, The Mila Tree. <sighs> Whoa. I don't think I've ever felt so small. Mm. I like how I was just like grunting. I can't even see the top of it. I see. Most impressive indeed. So the shrine hides all the way up in its branches. Right. I said, a great staircase inside the trunk leads up to it. However, the Empire has closed off the only road to the steps. Or perhaps roots to the steps, I should say. Ah, oh, Ceres, a lover of puns, I see. I knew I liked you. <laughs> then we'll just have to break through. Come. Okay, right to it, I see. Um, who do we have available to us? No creepy hand man, good. Uh, no Libra. Okay, so we could have Sayri with us. Uh, we don't have to dump anyone? Uh, none of these people are people I've been using, so we could still keep Sumi with us, with us. that's nice. So I don't feel as bad about uh, changing her class now. Uh, what do we want to do, though? View the map? Uh, it's just like a buttload of people and a very magnificent mustache at the end of the tunnel, but I was wondering if this was a chapter that I was thinking of, but no, that's for later on, I guess. So in that case... Uh, who do I want to be pairing people up with? I know we were working with Noe and Cherish, so keep them close together. Um, we'll do... Robin got maxed out with Alyssa, uh, so I don't have to worry about the two of them anymore. Uh, Krom's still working with Frederick. I kind of want to get that wrapped up, so Krom can't move. So we'll put Frederick... 
Where is Frederick? Oh, he's right here. Do that. Robin. I'll continue the Robin and Sayree conversation. That seemed pretty interesting. Uh, wherever she is. Yeah, she's right there. Olivia. Uh, how about with Sumia? Just the two weaklings. I don't know. Maybe Sumia's not a weakling anymore. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to give Lissa a new healing thing. Oh, yeah, I might be able to still salvage that. I could go into my inventory. Uh, oh, it's not broken quite yet, but it's on the verge. Uh, Long Ku. Keep you with pain. Lucina. I guess that's good, but uh, inventory. Lissa? Give her a new staff. She's using Mend currently. Do you have more of those? Why does Gaius have one? I'll trade that. Uh, source of Distant Allies HP. That might actually be kind of nice. Get rid of the ladle. Uh, fortify Resource HP to all allies in range? Why do I not have this with me? I guess I'm good for now. I'm just going to actually check before confirming. Her Ericus Blade is about to break, but we got Killing Edge, so she's fine. Iron Sword. I could have given Olivia a Killing Edge if I wanted to. Uh, uh, she's only rank C with weapons, though, and Killing Edge is a... It's a rank C weapon? Okay. So she could have used it. Huh. Uh, you should keep that in mind, then. Silver Lance, Elf Thunder. Steel oh, this is about to break. Good to know. Uh, let's go into Frederick's inventory, see if we got any new other lances. Uh, Cordelia, she's such a great character. I wish I could use her more. Uh, the Short Sphere. Well, she can't use it. Throwing through for use for indirect attacks. Skiller. Enemy has a lance equipped. When the enemy has a lance, so it's better against other lances. Um, and we're using Erica's blade. Let's use Ephirum's lance as well. Do that, I guess. And for now, I guess we're good to go. Okay, let's do this. So, they arrive at last at what? Yes, come closer, said the hairy spider to the flies. Sire. General, General Cervantes, Lord Exilus was right. The Elysian League approaches. Are you daft, boy? Did you not hear what I was just saying? Yes, sir. A thousand pardons, sir. They must have some skill to make it this far, but no matter. We shall show them the meaning of the word fear. Huh? The meaning of beard, sir? Er, yes, I'm sure they would be most impressed, but perhaps... Fear, you deaf ignoramus! Fear! Yes, sir, of course, sir, sorry, sir. They are impressive, though, aren't they, my whiskers? Ha ha ha. I've not shaved since my very first battle. And have I ever lost? No, not even once. Ergo, my mustache makes me invincible. It's sincere, my boy. Science. Oh, whatever. I can't read. At least they acknowledge that he has an amazing stinking mustache. So, let's get down to business. Who's that pairing this up with again? I think no one right now. Uh, Let's get Krom with Frederick. Sayri with Robin. We'll get Olivia with Sumia. I hope I don't regret this. Uh, Anna might be going with Tharja. Uh, Lanku with Pain. Uh, Noe with Cherish. Lucina with Lissa. And Anna with Tharja. Now, let's get started. Uh, this sparkly work really might be experience, so we'll take them. It's kind of a weird uh, terrain. So... 
All right, so you can't go in the water only if you're a flying eunuch. Duly noted. Uh, how much damage do you do? Asumia could kill someone in one hit? What? Oh, Olivia, I wish I could do that with you as well, but not quite yet. Um, we're gonna go with... I'll give Sayuri some experience. I knew I loved you. I'm very happy to finally have her on the team. She is amazing. Uh, we got Sumia. How about we go over here in case it is experience? It is 25 experience, uh, but it's for Sumia since she landed on it. I just didn't want to have Olivia out in the open. Uh, we'll go over here. Uh, Lissa could do the rally now, so I guess it's a good thing to do whenever you stop. Uh, just a reminder of what Rally does. It uh, grants luck plus 18 units within three spaces for one turn, so it might have actually been good if I had Olivia out in front. Uh, I guess I'll put you guys here. Uh, you two up here. I also need to level up Anna some more, so I'll switch her to the front. Have her wait. And I guess I'll put Krom and Frederick right here. Who do I want to be getting? Uh, Krom could get some level ups. And I guess I'll keep you right here. Enemy phase! So I might be seeing Captain Marvel tonight. Actually, I'm definitely seeing Captain Marvel tonight because I got tickets. It'd be kind of awkward if I didn't get them. Okay, Sumia, no one messes with you ever again. Unless you run out of HP, then that'll be kind of awkward. Anna, uh, thank you for dodging. I'm really excited to see Captain Marvel. Barja's kicking butt. Like all these different pairings. It's cool to see that. You get a discount. Mm. Anarchist blade broke. How sad. Legendary sword. Okay. As usual, no one could ever stink and hit Sayuri. This is zero percent chance right there. Like I don't know what it is about her. If she has a skill or if she's has like crazy high speed. I don't know what it is, but I'm not complaining. And Anna with a killing edge. I am a very big fan of. Uh, we got a beast killer. That's good against uh people who are riding animals. Uh, what's next? Olivia somehow survived. Uh, switch. No damage to this guy really. Uh, bring him to 10 HP. Uh, zero. Always gotta like check out all your options. God darn it. Never do exactly what I want it to. I'm gonna risk this so stinking hard. Hoping for either a critical or for Sumi to step in. Neither of which seem to have happened. I really should have gotten her killing. I just don't think of Olivia as a sword fighter. Cause like I'm just like, she's the useless dancer, doesn't do much damage. Uh let's see. I could rally or I could staff. I'm going to do this for Olivia. Okay. She could survive another hit. Anna kick some booty. A speed wing we're going to pick up from this guy. Deep cut Anna. Definitely need to get her more level ups because she's been too low level for too long. We need to get her uh, class upgraded. Uh, she got Lucky 7 as a new ability. That looks cool. Uh, speed Wing. It uh, grants hit and avoidance plus 20 for the first seven turns. That's very specific and very cool. Send the Speed Wing to the convoy. Uh, what do we got? What is Sari's speed? I'll check that right now. Uh, is it in full? Speed is 20 plus 5. Okay. Compared to, like, Robin, which is, like, I guess she does have, like, really high speed in comparison to other characters. Go over here. Wait right there for Krom. Seiri goes right there. I guess doing a little bit of damage would be nice. Uh, switching to Noe is pretty much the same. But she retains defense. I guess she retains HP because of defense, rather. That, or you could just double dip. Uh, not quite for Cherish, but she's getting there. Silver Sword. Getting a lot of good weapons this time around. 
Uh, come on, I really want that guy to fight Olivia. Just so we get the experience. Anna is going to kick butt. Chichin! So you're gonna love her. Okay, Krom is gonna get beat up a little bit. Unless he dodges. Oh, of course not. Why is it that's like 57% for the enemy they. Ha oh, ha, yes, car reinforcements! I came in because that's what this guy's voice said the spider to the other spiders. Okay, so that's just warning you he'll call reinforcements soon. Olivia, get to KO an enemy. Uh, there you go. Kind of wish we didn't lose the HP right there, but well. Oh, I could change a class right in the middle of the battle if I wanted to. You know, I really, I think I'm really helping. Just one more level, Olivia, and then you'll be super stinking awesome. Oh my god, I'm really excited to finally change your class. Uh, I'll heal you up real quick. I did not mean to use Psychic or whatever that's called. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Huh. These guys are probably beefy. Let's put them right in front of Olivia just to be safe. Right there, kind of all guarding her. Anna, continue to kick butt like you always do. Come again. Come again. Things are finally working out. Like, the game comes becomes like a million times more fun when you know what you're doing. It's amazing. Oh my god, I'm enjoying this LP a lot more than I... Not that I didn't think I would have fun with it, it's just that I feel like it was going to be commentary diarrhea, and I felt like I wouldn't understand like half the mechanics, but... Like, yeah, I was sort of iffy on a couple things at the beginning, but... Oh, that was 69. I sort of didn't know a couple things here and there, but like now that I'm sort of understanding a bit more and just refreshing myself and everything, I'm really happy that I'm doing this. Time for Sayri to kick some butt. And, okay, Robin just finished off that 1 HP. As uh, time for the enemy, yes. Okay, let's see if Pain could not kill this guy so that Olivia could just uh, sweep in for the kill and get the experience. Good job, Lanku. Uh, not quite. Oh, well. Togwell must live. Uh, Killer Axe. That'd be nice for Alyssa. She could never uh, use it. Or also chairs. I gotta remember, I have axe users on my team. I just don't think of. But right now, she has a hammer. It's really funny. Uh, if you guys could not get rid of all of them, that'd be kind of great because I kind of need her uh, to get at least one of them. Oh, jeez. You guys are just like a combo team of awesomeness. Uh, let me go over here. Oh, Olivia, but it's from a distance, so 54%. Come on. Of course, you can't touch it. Let me run down here and another distant attack. 49%. You cannot hit me. Thank you. When it's like 49% for the enemy, it hits us, but when it's like 98% for us, we miss. That's how it always works. Uh, 35. I wish you guys weren't all such beefcakes. Melissa won't kill him, but it's a matter of whether or not Lucy- My DS is already at red! God darn it, I got charged the thing after like every recording session, it seems like. Oh, come on, Lucina. Oh, I didn't want you to do that. Um, I guess dance for Lissa, so we get some experience. And, oh, I'm really upset that my DS is red. I was trying to get, like, three recording sessions done every single day until I finish recording the LP, but can't do that now if the DS is red. I guess that's my fault, because, like, I think I need it, too. I did record a lot yesterday, so I guess it's to be expected. I feel like I did charge it, though. I don't know. Uh, Alyssa gonna level up. Olivia is... Not quite there yet, but we're so stinking close. We got a lot of guys to pick from, so... Hopefully we'll get a chance. I might end the turn early, just because... Uh... Could I heal myself? I can't. Not with this, anyway. Uh, I could just switch to Tharja for now. Uh, we'll bring Krom up here. Uh, am I leading Krom? Yeah, I'm leading Krom to a dead end. Maybe we should head over here instead. Sayri, do the same. 
uh, you guys, I kind of want you to just chillax for now. Let's see what this is going to be like. Take a little bit of damage, but no problem for Tharja, because she can just murder you right quick. I don't even know what to say. Like, I run out of creative things to say on how uh, Tharja murders people. Like, after, after like, the millionth time, you kind of just get used to, like, yep, that's Tharja doing Tharja again. Can't even get out this sentence without her doing it again to somebody. <laughs> Level 4 for her. He, he, he. Master Seal? It's like Master Hand, I don't know. Come on. Reinforcements, like he said. Oh, god darn it, you guys are gonna have to move. Uh, 10 HP. I could just, like, be very slow with this. Uh, all of you annoy me. God darn it, why are you so powerful? It'd be nice if Olivia could get a... Does anyone have a killing edge in their inventory? Because, like, I could possibly force, uh... Force like a sinking critical on her, and if I switch her weapon, I could have forged her weapon as well. Now that I think about it, this whole time because it worked wonders for Lissa with her bronze axe. Uh, I'm gonna risk it. Maybe Subia will jump in and get a critical or something. Anything? No. Okay. Well, now she has weapon proficiency rank B. So, you could give her this, uh, let's try that trade with, not with Cherish. Oh, it's, got down this little gap over there. Can't reach him quite yet. We'll see how this goes. This is a really dumb idea, but whatever. Uh, the boss is up here. He's right stinking there. I'll put Tharja... There's a sparkly over there as well. Put you guys right there. Sort of on the move, but not going right up to the action yet. Switch it around. Oh, no, he has the item I need, though, so... Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. We could do it if you see and helped out, Sumia. These guys are on the move. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh Jesus. That's not good. Oh, so stinking slow, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna sink and get a level up for her in this chapter. I forgot to upgrade Lucina into a change her class. Okay, thank you, Sumia, but uh, not quite there yet. But I completely forgot about that. Trade to Olivia. Give her the silver sword. Uh, who has a master seal and who's near Lucina? Lucina does have one on hand. Okay. I guess we could just do this right now. Kind of a weird place to do it, but I completely forgot. Uh, switch to her master seal. Let's use it. Kind of want to do the same thing with Krom that I'm doing with Krom. I like her as a swordsman, so I'm going to keep her that way. I'm just going to upgrade her to the Great Lord. She looks even more like Marth. God, those stat increases. Perhaps change is my best hope. And now she can use spears. Is this the design she uses for, like, that Fire Emblem Heroes alternate? Uh, possibly. I'm very much a fan of the spear using Lucina in Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, but yeah, Olivia still needs to get a level up. We're close. Switch, staff, heal, Olivia. Yeah! I'm gonna wait, just 
Because we're so stinking close. Just give me one more stinking attack with Olivia and then we'll be good to go. Oh god, even more. Let's see what we got. Uh, possibly. Doing four damage, it's even less. Oh, we're so close! We are so close! Oh, Alyssa. Heal her up. It's gonna sting and happen. This is so stinking dumb. I'm sorry if I'm prolonging this battle a lot more than... But, like, we get to think about Mustache Man longer because of that, right? Yeah, it's not all bad. Oh, I wish... I wish she could heal herself. Wait, she has recover. Uh, reorder? What? Could she, like... She's a D-list mage. It's a B-rank item. Okay, but still doesn't even help her. Uh, Anna. Anna would die. 2 HP. Let's go for it. Maybe Tharja will save us. Either Tharja or Killing Edge, neither of which helped, but at least we dodged. Uh, I'm just gonna start attacking guys now because Olivia's gonna take care of this guy and we'll be good to go. Um, yeah, sure, we'll go with Lanku. It's level 3. Level 3, Lanku, you gotta catch up. You guys are pulling your own weight around here. Yeah, stinking right. Lanku just murders everybody in sight. All killing edge broke. No, but we got another one, so it's okay. Don't have to worry about that ever again. Uh, I guess just go over here. I uh, can't even reach these guys because they're in the water. Uh, head up a little bit. Head up a little bit. Uh, boy. This might not be good for Anna. Thank you for dodging. Time for Seiri to... Oh, God, we're... At... Oh, we're beeping red. I might want to plug this into a thing. Because it'd be very stinking crummy if we died after this, if I lost HP. So, I'll be right back. I gotta recharge it to 3DS. I'm not a good Let's Player. I wonder if all the recordings where I have the 3DS charging while it's turned on is affecting my battery life at all. Oh, great. I'm gonna go on that spiel, I'm sure I did it before. Uh, Anna, can you survive this? Thank you. Oh, critical hit is also very nice. Oh, 1 HP, you're living on danger zone, Anna. I want you to die again, though. Oh, God. Please dodge this 45%, come on, Anna. Of course not. down. Thank you, Frederick. At least something good happened today. Good. And Krom gets to level up. Hooray! Krom on and slam. And welcome to the jam. I feel a huge difference in my pants. Wait, what? Did I ever say that I was going to see Captain Marvel? Yeah, I'm going to go see Captain Marvel. And I'm excited. I'll let you know what I think about it afterwards. But, alright, uh... Apparently some other people in my timeline already saw me said it's like the best movie in the series of Marvel Cinematic Universe stuff, so I'm excited. And thank you. Get that experience. And Olivia is finally ready to change her class. Learn special dance, no more skills for her, so we could stink and change her class now. Question is, to what? Because we're not upgrading her to a super dance superstar. We're changing her class entirely. We have either the Mirmidon, a swift specialist in the blade who makes uh, for a tricky target, or a Pegasus Knight, a graceful flyer, strong against magic, weak against bows. <sighs> She can't use the sword anymore if I do that. Duly noted. We have a lance user in Sumia, so... I know Dark Flyer is a really revered class, but considering we would need to level up the Pegasus Knight and then switch her to the Dark Flyer, 
I feel like we won't even reach that by the end of our adventure, so for that reason... I hope I don't regret this, but I'm going to switch her to the Myrmidon. Whatever that even means. Besides, she can't dance while on a horse. Um, could you turn the other way? <laughs> Avoid plus 10, I like that. So she's just a uh, awesome dodger. Oh, that's so she's like say re, heck yes. Okay, that wastes our turn, unfortunately. Uh, heal Sumia, or heal Olivia, because don't want her to die on her new debut. Uh, as opposed to her old debut, I don't know. Go over there, okay. Now that I finally got her taken care of, I could start kicking booty. Oh my god, there's so many enemies down here. A lot of experience if we want to go for it. Uh, but the one person I wanted to get that experience for, Anna, is gone. So, that's kind of crummy. Just go ahead and get rid of these guys, I guess. Won't make it a priority, though. Uh, we'll head over here. Get rid of this guy. I think I'll uh, have Lissa go down there, just because she's paired up with Lucina, though. I don't know if Lucina and Lissa have communication sessions. Should have checked, but... Be better for Robin, like these groups, since they do have communication sessions with their pairings. Uh, we'll continue to go up here, I guess. Uh, eh, we'll head, we'll bring them back down here. Sorry, I'm just prolonging the inevitable, but I'll send the other guys upwards. Because we've got a lot of sinking enemies right here. We might as well get the experience for somebody. Yeah, now that I think that Anna's the weakest member of our team. Let's see if we can change that. Is Tharja actually going to die? Singing terrifying when that happens. Ow, that hurts. I've got to pull back, but I won't forget this insult. That's not her voice. I don't know what the fruit I'm doing. Disgracing the greatness that is Tharja. I apologize. We changed her class, right? I'm pretty sure we did. And go ahead and do that. That's very nice. Uh, Krom is gonna get attacked. It'd be really crummy, if, like just because I sent Krom and Robin down here, then they en end up getting killed in the counterattack. Oh boy. I feel like everything I say is always the counterattack. Like the enemy's counterattacker, our counterattack is never just an attack. We're always counterattacking each other. Well, I'm okay with Olivia dodging everything. That's what they meant by tricky to deal with that she dodges everything oh my god question can she still dance and can I make her not stink so badly with damage I'm gonna give her a killing edge definitely now that I remember that she's a swordsman um let's try well first off let's oh okay no we could reach this switch to cherish and wait uh, did you find something, Minerva? Here, let me see. A uh, Tiki's Tear. That's convenient. Uh, we will have Lissa get rid of this guy. So we're to say that Lissa's the one getting rid of them. She's angry, Lissa, smash! Can we dance? You cannot dance anymore. That's unfortunate. But we have the special dance. Allies that act again receive strength and magic. It's like, what was the point of getting that? Now that I think about it. Oh, boy. Uh, Olivia, you're not that much more powerful. Is it because of your weapon? Equip the iron sword. What about the silver sword? Is that more powerful? Yeah, it is, but your defense isn't all that great. Huh. Get ready. Let's see what we got. Great dodger. Yes, you are. 
So she does good damage, like decent damage now, but that she has the appeal of never getting hit. Okay. I can kind of live with that because... Reasons. I don't know. Uh, Krom. Go murder some people. Aether. Krom is just such a really fun character to use in Smash Ultimate. I like how he's... He's, like, got the strength of Ike, but the speed of Krom. Or the speed, yeah, because he's Krom. No, the speed of Marth and Lucina, but, like, the strength of Ike and Roy. It's a really weird combination. But, like, honestly, when you look at all the Fire Emblem characters, they're... Um, yeah, a lot of them are the stinking insane, but they could make interesting Fire Emblem characters. It's just a matter of, like, not making them swordsmen. But, like, Korn isn't similar to Marth in any way. Just because they use a sword. And like when you look at other swords, like Link and Marth aren't similar to each other. So I find like characters that are like based, like the Echo Fighters or the clone characters are clones. They're very similar and whatnot. So like I don't like how Smash has three regular links. They all seem very similar, even though they have different strengths and speeds and whatnot. Their moves are all like very identical. Though they kind of reshaped basic Link into like a completely different character with like his new bombs and all that jazz. But um what else is there? It's just like, I don't like Mar having Marth and Roy and Lucina and Krom because they're all very stinking similar. And then Ike is also kind of similar in the way, but he's just like a lot heavier and slower compared to the others. But I don't know. Um, I don't have a problem with Robin and Korn because they are very different. I don't have any problem with their inclusion. The only complaint I have with Korn is that he's a stupid character <laughs> and I don't really like him. Uh, let's see. They're gonna go and heal a bunch. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but yeah, Corrin is just like, my god, the voice actor is so singing bad. Like, no offense to whoever it is, but like, that voice is so horrible. It sounds like it's trying, like, so singing hard to, like, sound cool, but also sound trying so hard to breathe. It's really weird. Uh, Olivia, let's just have you go to town on people, because you've been waiting for this moment where you could actually do that. Yeah, it was amazing. You survived a turn. And I want to get her leveled up as soon as possible. Uh, we will go down here, I guess. Uh, let's just to Lucina show off her new class as well. And we're good. Impossible. Impossible. Got Seiri as well. Just get rid of all the backup jumps. Uh, I don't even think I changed Seiri's class in my first playthrough, so I'm excited to see like what I would change her to. She's already super awesome as it is, but I guess we'll see. Um, go over here, I guess. And then we can go forward and finish the chapter. How wonderful. This is this has all just been one episode. My god, and we're already up to 50 minutes. Oh boy. This let's play is gonna be a weird one. I always said that a bunch, but still. Uh let's go over here. So we're as close to the boss as possible. As possible. I still haven't switched out Cherish's hammer, but it's been working well for us, so I don't really see a need to. Kinda like the idea of Lissa with a hammer though, that'd be kinda funny. Time for the boss. Uh, can I just auto this? Why not? We never do the auto. Just trying to have you guys go up to the boss if you can. There you Oh, hello. I didn't think you'd reach him. My whiskers are safe against you lot. Victory is inevitable. I guess we're having chairs fight him. He's got a tomahawk. That's so stinking cool. But it's no match match for Cherish and her hammer of doom. And we're good. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, this guy's gonna use his tomahawk. Big stinking axe. And down goes Cherish. Oh well. How tragic. Except we're not in hard mode, so you'll be fine. So who do I want to give this final hit to? Uh, can I wish I could see who is close to a level up? 
And I guess that lets you see it, the amount of experience, because it's always up to 100. Olivia, if you could take down a boss... No, of course not. Uh, Sayri? Maybe? Uh, okay, I guess you can get the experience at least. Oh, poor Lissa. <laughs> and we'll finish him off. Oh, I didn't notice that. God darn it. What a tragic... Aw, oh, you missed. What a tragic end to Olivia's wild ride. Aw. Sorry about that, buddy. Oh, I thought you could do at least one damage. Oi. Do I give it to Noe? No. E. Eh, uh, Sayri, why not? Finish it off. Let's call him an it. It what? It cannot be, Sayri! My mortal enemy. Oh, I didn't even know that they were mortal enemies. So I guess it's fitting. We got special dialogue. My mortal enemy! What? General Seventus, your reputation and your gut precedes you. But we have met in battle before, girl! Have you forgotten? Not a long ago, you and I locked in deadly combat. I was sure we had won the day until you appeared. Your beard again? Can you talk of nothing else, you imperial pig? Appeared! I said appeared! Just never mind! I like this guy. I don't want to have to kill him. But for the sake of the plot, I will do it. Ah, but how could this be? My invincible mustache! Blasted science, you have played me for a fool. And with that, we are done with chapter 15. And she got a new skill to make her even more awesome. Uh, that strikes five times at half damage? What the fruit? Seriously? Sure, why not? Uh, money. Put in the convoy. Robert and Sayri are the MVPs. Duly noted. Fight. Rightfully so. Mary, what fighting? I almost pity the enemies of Ulysses. Listen. Sayri, do you know the way up to the shrine? Right. I said, follow me and let us be quick about it. <sighs> uh, how many stairs are there in a case of stairs? Because I'm already sick of this stupid staircase. The voice truly lives all the way up here? Where are you? Lady Tiki, are you here? Play the answer. My lady. I'm so relieved to see you're all right. Um. So you are Lady Tiki. She who speaks for the Divine Dragon? Mar? Oh, Mar Mar, is that you? My name is Lucina, my lady. Though I did go by the name Marth for a time. Might we have met? No. Alas, I'm sorry. You reminded me of someone I knew. But he is gone now. Lost during my endless sleep. Hey. You and your father are of the exalted bloodline, are you not? Yes. Yes. Do you yet possess the fire emblem? It should have been passed down through your family. I... Yes, I have it. Ah, <laughs> uh, what relief to know it has not been lost. But where are the gemstones? I see only Argent. Hmm? Gemstones? Well... Yes, there are five of them. Argent, Sable, Gules, Azure, and Vert. Each holds a portion of Naga's power. When mounted upon the emblem, they allow one to perform the awakening. I see. The rite by which the first exalt channeled the divine dragon's power. Yes. The very same. With the fire emblem's power, the exalt was able to defeat Grima. But such power was too much for men, and so gemstones were scattered. I kept Azure here with me. Right. My kingdom had safeguarded Veld for generations. 
but the gem was recently stolen by Walmart's men. Um, Milady, do you know where the other two gemstones might be? The remaining gemstones, Sable and Julius, are no longer known to me. They may have been taken long ago, at the time of the schism. All right. Ragnaferox was founded during the schism, as were most all nations of the realm, I believe. What? Wait, does that mean you guys have one of the gemstones, Basilo? <laughs> as if one, as if anyone would entrust this oaf with such a thing. Actually, it's true. We did keep one. Jewelus, did I never inform you? You most certainly did not. Hmm. Must have slipped my mind. Regardless, yes, the West Cons once safeguarded Jewelus, but it was lost long before my lifetime. Hey, here, take Azure, Exalted Ones. With it, you possess two of the five gemstones. Now you must seek out the others and perform the awakening. Our world must be defended from Grima at all costs. What? But I'm confused. I thought Grima's power was sealed away. Yes. But ever since, there has been those who would change that. Grima's life force grows even now, and with it, the long shadows of despair. <laughs> when will he return, and where? I cannot know these things, but I can feel his presence. It looms closer and closer. The task is of a heavy burden, but as he of exalted blood, it must fall to you, Krom. Good. I understand. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> we owe you a great debt, my lady. Hey. Ah, oh, you. You have it. What? Listen. You have power, like mine. Um... I do? <sighs> I... Ah, uh, forgive me. I am still groggy from my slumber. My words outpace my thoughts. <clears throat> Are you alright, my lady? Yes. I am fine. Just very tired. I haven't the strength to join you in the fray. Not yet. But I will call the people together in prayer for an end to this conflict. Pretty amazing that after all these years, we reunite with a beloved character from the beginning of this legendary franchise. I didn't really get the impact because I haven't really been with this series from the beginning. This was my first Fire Emblem game and my first introduction to Tiki. But I can imagine for people who've been with the series from the very beginning, it was quite a revolutionary moment to see a familiar face in a franchise that has games scattered throughout several different centuries. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we'll be in search of the other gemstones. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.